Hey YouTubers, today I'll show you how to set up your Minecraft server for Sky Factory 3 so you can play with your friends. Click on Server Files, go to this website, and we want to go back to Overview. Scroll down, go to where it says Minecraft Server Packs, and download the most recent file. Then click Download. It'll download this here. Um, we need a zip file to open it. We can use WinRAR from CNET. Com. I'll post a link in the description. This is a great tool to have. Every computer should have this. All right, open it up and extract to, I'll extract it to my desktop. I'll create a new folder and okay. All right, let's go to that file. And what we're going to do is we need to install something else for this to run. We need Java Runtime Environment. So you're going to want to go to this website at Oracle and get a JRE, Java Runtime Environment. Go to whichever Windows version you have. You probably have 64-bit, and you want to get the executable file. You're going to click on that. Um, you're going to click Accept. And then you're going to click on this to download it, and you're going to install that program. And that is going to what that's going to help you um, run your server. After you've done that, go back to your file and open up EULA. This is the terms of agreement. All we have to do is change this to true. Save. All right, our server is completely ready to run. All you have to do is click server start, and it's just going to set up your server. Um, Next, if you want your friends to play with you, you're going to have to um, open some ports on your router, and you're going to want to know what IP address to put in. So let's go to our router. Let's see, we type in 192.168.1.1. And then it's going to ask for your username and password. Um, that's just admin and password. That's default for a lot of routers and we're going to log in. I have a Netgear, but you may you're going to have probably a different router so you're going to have to figure out how to get to port forwarding. For me, I go to advanced, go to advanced setup and I click on port forwarding. And here I've already set up this, but if we were to start over, I'd click add custom service. And here, let's just call that FTB Minecraft. And then these are going to be 25565, 25565, 25565. That's the port we're going to be opening for our friends. Then your um, internal IP address is we have to use our command prompt to get that. So I'll go to command prompt. And I'm going to type in IP config, enter, scroll up, and find IPv4 address. And I'm going to want to uh, put that in. So I just added two there. And let's see. That's my phone. That's my other computer that I'm using my server on. And I'll set it up for my laptop. So I'll click on this. That's actually my IP address, so that's all set. And then we click Apply. But I guess since it's, that port's being used by my other computer, it didn't work for my laptop, but that's fine. Um, it'll work for you. So that's how you open the port. So you your friends will now be able to connect to your server, but they're not going to be using this IP address. They're going to be using your public IP address. So Go to Google and type, what's my IP? And I think Google's down right now, so I'll try Bing. What's my IP?
And on Google, I'll just tell you, but um, for you can also go to this website, and that's what your friends are going to put in to connect to your server. And that's all you have to do. You should be good to go. Thanks for watching.